Hello. So hi, it's fucking the Dragon, and um, so this is a thing that I wanted to make a video about while it was actually happening, but apparently some people still don't know about it, so I'll make the video anyway. And that is Tony the Tiger. Now if when I say that name, you created a vision of a cartoon tiger in your head and you know exactly what he looks like, that could be for two reasons. One, you had a very unhealthy breakfast cereal as a child, or two, you're a fucking furry. So just in case you didn't know, a bunch of furries were starting to tweet Tony the Tiger as a joke, saying that they, you know, were sexually interested in him. Just being general slime balls to a fictitious serial character. Which I think is kind of fucking funny. Tony, or rather the person running the account as Tony, responded by blocking a butt-ton of furries, which spread throughout the fandom, and then it became the cool thing to do to get blocked by Tony the Tiger because you sexually advanced upon him via Twitter. I can just imagine this poor guy sitting there and he goes on Twitter and he's like, all right, let's get to work and reply to the customers, the, the people who really love Frosted Flakes. And he's just got a bunch of sexually suggestive tweets from a group of furries that he has to deal with. And that is his job. So then we had like some small articles going around talking about it. And then it got to the point where another company stepped in and Chester the Cheetah from the Cheetos packets said that he welcomed all his something something and made very suggestive tweets. Basically Tony wanted none of our furry bullshit and uh, Cheetos saw the opportunity and went, hey, that's a fucking client base. Let's just roll with it. And they fucking did. So that was pretty cool. So now I think Cheetos is the unofficial sponsor of the furry fandom. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the first sexual advance related tweet was actually serious, just because we have people like that in the fandom. And then someone was taking the piss out of it and then it just got out of hand. And I reckon there were still some serious sexual advances in there. But at the same time, I reckon there were a lot of people just doing it to be a fuckwit in the best way possible. I actually thought it was funny. And I honestly don't think that it was a public enough thing to really damage the already damaged reputation of our fandom. So, you know, no harm done, really. If anything, people will just be like, wow, that, yeah, I'd expect that, okay. Like, it didn't make them better. It didn't make it better by any standards, but what are you doing to make it better, huh? What are you doing? Sitting there watching me rant about some bullshit, that's what you're doing. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it, but I, I'm sure other people have different opinions, so let me know about those different opinions in the comments below. I just realized I've been sitting really short this entire video. Thank you very much for subscribing, I will see you in the next video, but until then, oh, fuck off.